Hi, it's Jessica and welcome to Recipes for Radiance. It's all about salmon in these next two recipes. We are doing six ways to salmon. Nobody says your weeknight meals have to be bland and we are using bold flavors in six very different but simple recipes to dress up your salmon or any fish you have, but I'm using salmon. I don't know if I have to explain all the health benefits of salmon, but you all hear it, omega-3s, omega-3s, omega-3s. Now there's other sources that have omega-3s in them, obviously, but salmon is such a great source of it. It helps with the cardiovascular health. Did you know your brain is made up of 60% fat? So these omegas actually feed your brain and they actually make you smarter. Cool. Omegas also act as an anti-inflammatory, so they are great for your joints. Not to mention, I mean, the good fats in the omegas are also great for your hair, your nails, your skin. You just have a glow. So let's get started in round one of our six ways to salmon. Six ways to salmon starts now. All right, for this first round, we're gonna do our half-baked salmon. Why do I call it half-baked? Because we're baking it for half of the time. We're gonna grill it on one side, and then we're gonna finish it off in the oven. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pan large enough to hold about three pieces of our, um, of our salmon. So I'm gonna put that on medium heat, and then I'm also gonna get my oven preheated to about 350, between 350 and 375. All right, so while I got that heating up, I have a huge, huge piece of salmon. <laughs> you can get wild-caught salmon. That is better for you. Um, just Google it. Farm-raised is eh, not so good. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this up into six equal parts. And I'm just going to put this on my... I'm going to need a bigger boat. All right. Okay, ah, that's better. That's about the size of my salmon, starting off anyway. All right, so I've got my six pieces. I'm actually gonna save three for later. For the first recipe for salmon, it's gonna be four ingredients. All you're gonna need, salt and some black pepper. And I'm gonna use some Dijon mustard. Get a big, nice little chunk of it, so I don't have to double dip. Oh, that might be too much. <laughs> that's, a lot. that's a lot of Dijon mustard. All right, okay, maybe we don't need that much. So a nice little coating on there of the Dijon mustard. Then I'm gonna use, you can use whatever breadcrumbs you have. I'm gonna use some panko breadcrumbs. And I'm just gonna put these right on top of the layer of the Dijon mustard. Beautiful, all right, that is done. We'll just move that to our plate. We're gonna put all of them on the grill together at one time. Recipe number two in our six ways to salmon. Okay, this is lemon dill salmon. That's it. Two great ingredients that go amazing on salmon. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna salt and pepper the uh, this second piece of salmon right here. And if you have fresh dill, that's awesome. Just chop it up and you can put it right on your salmon. Or I have a dried dill, so that works amazing too. And I'm just gonna give it a nice healthy sprinkle. So I've got my lemon and I'm just gonna cut this into thin strips. And I'm gonna lay that right on top of the piece of salmon. And that's actually gonna cook right there on the piece of salmon. And when it bakes in the oven, the juices are just gonna kinda just melt down into that salmon and it's gonna be amazing. And the presentation looks really nice too. It just looks really pretty. So if you're making this for guests, people coming over, it's a great simple, as you can see, way to make salmon. So I'm just gonna put thin layers right on top there. So that's our second piece. I'm gonna move this to our our tray before we put it on there. Recipe number three in our six ways to salmon. And this one is so simple and it is so tasty. It's gonna bake up in the oven. It's gonna have a nice caramely crisp on it. It's gonna be really good and it's so simple. Okay, so we're gonna put another layer of the Dijon mustard. Just a little bit of brown sugar just to coat, just to coat the top of that and kind of sprinkle it on. Okay. Beautiful! So all I'm gonna do is put them in my preheated pan, or of course, if you're making one for each night, you can just have those just ready to go in the fridge and just pop them right on the grill when you're ready to cook them each day. I'm just gonna put a tiny little bit of olive oil in there, in the pan, just 
just so they don't stick. And after the five minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and finish them off in the oven. I'm not gonna flip them. The salmon is looking and smelling beautifully, so I've had it on for just a few minutes on this side, and I'm gonna go ahead and just finish it off right in the oven. Okay, they're ready to come out of the oven. The last minute I actually put it on broil and I washed it super carefully because I just kind of wanted just a little more kind of crisp on top. So feel free to do that if you'd like, uh, but be very careful and watch it the whole time because it does not take long on broil for it to just torch up. So you've been warned. So for our six ways to salmon, round one, half baked, this is what we got. And it looks pretty good. Thanks so much for joining me. Wherever you're watching this, head on over to HerTube TV and check out my channel, Recipes for Radiance. You can also go to my website, recipesforradiance.com, where I have a free gift waiting for you. Thanks. We'll see you next time.